Welcome everybody to a first look at Cogmine. This is a ASCII based roguelike that's been in development for a few years now. It is finally available on early access as of today and the developer was kind enough to give me a press copy to look at. Please keep in mind of course while the game is in early access what you see may not represent the current version of it. And yes, there is no sound right now, because it's all built like very much on a low-tech kind of design. The whole interface around is our robot here. And as an added bonus, we enter ASCII mode, like so. So you don't really need to use the mouse, I think, all that much. Oh, there you go. Let's see, trying to make the most out of this. Of course, we'll learn more about what's going on as we explore. I think there's a way just to quickly pick up a, come on, an item there. Oop. I think we'll turn that off, I'll go with the legs. You can see in the upper right my core, which is my health, matter, which I believe is used for uh, creating stuff. Energy is power, and then I'm not sure what system corruption temperature is for. Hey, I'll go to. Let's see what we got here. <laughs> no, I am definitely not a hacker now. Right, we can get an assault rifle. See what we got here. Both rated one. Ten to fifteen, six to ten. See the type of damage it does. Oop. So I gotta get used to this. Mm-hmm. Definitely a roguelike. That's doing there. Yeah, definitely no. It's on the minimalistic side. Lots of lore. Yeah, I don't think yet. Yeah, audio is on. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't look like we have any music. Oh. Just the pinging of our resources here. Uh oh. Hey. I think I killed it. Oh. Yeah, I did something there. Usually you can right click on those things to see what it's all about. Let's see. Yeah, this is definitely an interesting game. It's a little bit... <laughs> no, I'm not doing any singing. We'll make that an anti-patron uh, goal, maybe. What is this? We have another ion engine. And of course, the world around us is procedurally generated. Uh oh, not again. Oh, I think he just hit me. Good. 
another heat sink, okay? Hmm. Did you just steal that? And we're trying to, of course, figure out what is going on in this world. Apparently we now have more room, I suppose. So I guess we'll pick up a grenade launcher. Uh, let's see. Put that there. Uh-oh, what happened? I'm still trying to make sense of what this stuff is. get out. What do we have here? I only had a chance to play for a little bit beforehand. Uh oh. Is anyone going to try and kill me? Does he know I have a grenade launcher? Uh oh. You can also see data on the enemies. Now I figure we'll play this for about an hour and then we may switch to something else. I'm just not sure what just yet. Hmm. Let's go for treads instead of legs. What do we have here? Hmm. Uh oh. Yeah, a lot of this game is just trying you trying to figure out what you're supposed to be doing. So I think I'll try and kill me. Seems like everything's trying to go after me in this world. Wait, I hear some actual sound effects. Uh oh. Wait, where's my... There's my grenade launcher. These things are blowing up on us, right? What do we have here? Wait, I can scan for the exit? Oh yeah, definitely the environments are destructible in this. Now what do we have? Mm -mm. When that fills up, they usually will send guards to come after me. Mm -mm. I wonder if I can shoot... There we go. So I have a manual fire. What is this thing? Alright. Well, we'll recycle another one. I'm not sure what I did there. Uh oh. 
These guys are gonna get caught in the crossfire, aren't they? Oh. Taking some serious damage, it looks like. <laughs> They're rebuilding, that's great. Mm -hmm. Oh, what? Someone got hit here? Knocked out my <laughs> grenade launcher. Uh oh, can we make it out here in time? That's a new one. So I guess each floor has some base parameters. I think that will help determine what it spawns, but otherwise it is procedural. What is this though? So I'm assuming, okay, so we're getting some basic scans around. A mace. Hey, Kay. Well, let's see. There's some more lore. What do you have? I think I just pissed them all off. You can see the damage of some of my stuff. Oh, I got another weapon slot. I didn't even realize that. What's happening? I'm hearing beeping. I'm not sure what's going on here. I should probably replace my treads. Okay, so we'll say it's replacing the weapons by default, which is good. I figure let's push this as far as I can go. That's a nice feature. It's just automatically replacing relevant slots with better equipped stuff automatically. Hmm? At this point, I'm not sure. Oh, jeez. 
if I'm supposed to be... What the heck? Hey. What's go... What the heck is going on now? Am I being hacked? Well, let's go for... So we haven't... Oh, man, we're out of power. I need more treads, too. Ooh, a minigun. Now that should be fun to use, right? Something tells me after this first look, I don't know if you guys are going to be interested in seeing this more on stream. I could see maybe doing videos. Oh. I am sniping with a Gatling gun right now. Wait, you're still alive? agree that, El Gordo. One of the challenges of some of these older style roguelikes is that there's just a lot of stuff to process. And as you can see, it's not exactly the most graphically intensive game. I have a feeling I'm about to die anyway. Like something like the Binding of Isaac, it's very easy to process what's going on. Wait, I've lost all my weapons? Oh, that ain't good. How am I supposed to... I think we're dead. So how do we get out of here? Alright. Well, that was further than I did last time. Let's see if we can do any better. And the controls are a little bit finicky. You have a lot of keys spread throughout, as you can see here by the advanced controls. Oh, spacebar is apparently... There we go. To self-destruct as well. I better keep an eye out on that. It seems like they want you to hold a lot of weapons in case you get knocked out like that. Alright, how do I pick this? That's not what I was looking for. Yeah, I definitely found some of the... Uh, less exciting parts of A Hat in Time. We could probably go back to it, maybe after the stream. I, honestly, I think I could maybe finish it where I'm at in one stream, regardless. It's always the ch Why is this guy in my way? 
There you go. It's always a challenge with those kinds of games that the level quality isn't as doesn't keep consistent. But then again, it's very challenging to make a game like that. Get out of my way. What was I doing here? We have that. Am I streaming right now? Hmm. That's weird. That was weird. Yeah, ahead of time, like, when I say that it's not as good, it doesn't mean it's bad, but... It's kind of like the difference between like the A quality material and like the B quality or even C plus. Man, this game is lagging my computer. You know there's a problem. What do you do? Huh. I am a fan of games that like integrate the lore and setting into the UI and design. It was why Duskers was a favorite of mine. Uh-oh. But it was like this, and something like Mid-Boss, the other roguelike. It was just a little bit finicky to control, at least for me. What the heck was that? Like, I'm not even sure what I'm looking at here. Like, how do I get this stuff out? Yeah, like, a good portion of the game is good, especially the first part of A Hat in Time. But the boss battles tend to feel more monotonous than they are creative. How do I do this? Hmm. Yeah, maybe we'll go back to a hat in time and try and wrap it up on the stream next. Because even though this game is interesting, again, this isn't exactly the be all end all exciting game for people to watch. Whoa! Can I shoot him from here? Where did you come from? You're dead. My laser. Man, why am I not... Fifty three percent chance and I'm missing every shot. This is XCOM all over again. How did he get here so fast? Okay, they're all dead. Except for you. Okay, now they're all dead. Let's get a heat sink. Let's see, what does this do? Hmm. How do I just drop them? Okay, we'll fly. And we'll take... Okay, thank you for the hint. We'll take a larger engine.
And I think I could really use some better weapons. Take that on. Uh oh. Oh, what? And that transport is just getting in the way of the trouble here. Come on. I wonder if I can shoot his weapons out, too. Some better weapons, though. I don't know if enemies respawn infinitely. Or there's just a fixed number on each level. What do you do? Okay, so I need a signal, the scanner, and then I need the interpreter so I can see everything around me. Okay, we can fly. Hmm. I think we've found the armory. You see where it has my weight anywhere? As in the most I can hold. As you can see, there's definitely a lot of stuff to look at here. Time, location... It's not matter. Alright, let's see. Because I'm flying, I'm just hovering around everything. We Ah, there it is. And I guess every level we're able to upgrade. Ah. Yeah, I bet this isn't the easiest game to look at. Let's see, I will give myself another power. So this means I can equip something else. So I need to find another engine. Now why is this yellow? Oh, because the integrity is down. I need to find some storage. There we go. Hmm? Yes, drop it. Hmm. There we go. Because I need more space. Really? Wait, what just happened? I think we're winning. Shooting the wall out. Ow! That just hit everything. Hmm. I think I'm okay. Oh, man. 
think we're dead. Oh my god. Not sure what I was supposed to do there to survive that one. Let's see, we've been going for about 30 minutes. For you guys watching this live, do you feel like seeing one more? Or we could probably switch to a hat in time to round out the rest of the stream, especially considering that I think I'm almost done the game. Yeah, I lost all my weapons. Wait, it says, check out the manual. And you know it's a bad sign when the manual tells you in the intro? Not to read the manual when you first start. Legs are the best form. Full inventory. Hmm. Let's see. <laughs> Don't swear on detail you need to progress. That did not tell me anything that I could use. Yeah, the controls are a little weird. Like, it probably made sense to do WSAD as movement. And then use the other keys for your right hand for control. Uh, I guess I'm picking all this stuff up, right? So I'm just gonna come out and try and kill me, right? We'll do one more playlist and then we'll switch to a hat in time for a little, I think to finish the stream off for tonight. Oh, that's a lot of lasers. I think there's a way. There you go. to try and make it a little bit cleaner. Get in there. We have legs. What do we have here? Hmm. Oh, well, that's very nice. Uh oh. Maybe they won't notice me? Oh my god. Then I killed them. But apparently, I lost my engine in the process. Anything 
into in here. Oh no. Of stuff here, but I don't know what exactly it is I'm looking at. <laughs> mm I just stepped on a trap. You really don't start out with a lot, do you? What's a data jack do? Hmm. Hmm. Lots of interesting stuff, but... Again, it's kind of hard to tell what it is I'm looking at here. I think we killed it. Oh, jeez. I think like a lot of the older style roguelike, it's very easy to get overwhelmed with the number of options, items, and everything that you're trying to look at. What? What happened? I think I just stepped on a trap. I bet system corruption is kind of like a long-term death attack. Ow. Oh, we survived. But, I think uh, for you guys watching this live, I'm sure you're starting to <laughs> toes off at your keyboard. So, I think we'll wrap up this first look at the game now. But, if you guys want to see more of it, maybe in a recorded basis, let me know. Like I said, the game is in early access, and it has been in development for a few years now, so I'm sure there'll be more work done to it. It's an interesting game, but I don't think this is up my alley. Again, I don't have any old-school uh, affection for roguelikes and CRPG, so a retro-style game doesn't really do all that for me, in the same way as playing something like The Buying of Isaac, or Sura, or even something like Dead Cells. Yeah, it's been in development for quite a long time. But, uh, for those of you watching this live, we're going to switch over to a hat in time. For those of you watching this recorded, that is going to do it for this play. Now, how do I get out of this game without blowing stuff up? Okay, why is Control shift alt s save and quit?